friends and family and welcome back to the final day of the 2023 LWS Open at Idlewild, presented by Dynamic Discs and The Natty. Coverage brought to you by Ace Run Pro. What could it be? Why it is round three. With Raven and me, <laughs> Holly Finley. And Raven Klein. <laughs> We're glad to see you back here for the final nine of our last day. Don't forget to give some follow to Ace Run Pro so that you can continue to see this coverage. Checking out our leaderboard, we still have Valerie Mondujano just leading the charge here. Eight down. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Looks to be a race for the second and third spot. Switching back and forth between Missy and Own. We take over back at hole 10, par 3, 368 feet. Just a tunnel off the tee. Don't be on the right side. <laughs> That's the best thing I can say for you. A lot of players are just trying to force something to get near this stump. That's mostly where we've seen like the best shots land. Uh, then pitching up and getting that three. There have been no birdies on this hole so far. No birdies? None. Own Scoggins up first, sitting four under par for the round, currently bogey free. She's landed on the right side. Now, Raven told her not to land over there. <laughs> she didn't listen. She specifically said it in the whole description. Madison Walker up second. And she's landed on the left side. That could be a tricky upshot for Walker. I feel like I have to eat my words because I actually feel like Owen's in better position than Madison, and even though she's on the right side. No, you're right about that. <laughs> Look at Sarah Hokum's shot. Love it. She's right in the main gap, looking directly at the basket. That's beautiful from Holland. Oh, wow. Clears Holland. the stump by by forever. One of the longest drafts <laughs> I've seen with a mid yeah. on this hole. I like that she makes that choice and is able to just go for the control shot. Okay, we lied about Madison's positioning. It's actually great. Perfect gap to the basket, but she doesn't hit it. She'll have to scramble for bogey, and this is not an easy hole to scramble on. Get up there. That's a great shot. Way to recover. Own standstill forehand. Clips off a tree, but she's got a putt at it well within own range. 38 feet. Oh, wow. Standstill putter up from Hokum. That's how good her drive was. Is she going to give this a run? Please, Holland Hanley. Please do it. The only person I've oh. ever seen with a legit putt on this hole. Dang. And I, you know what? I bet she was thinking it, too. <laughs> I feel like this is an infamous par three. Own to save par, Oof. and she has fallen out left. Walker for bogey. It's in. That's a good scramble for Madison Walker. A par for Hokum. Oh, Hokum's putt is so gentle. <laughs> and a par for Holland. We did not see any birdies on this hole today again. You know what? I am tired of that. I know. Next year, somebody is going to get a birdie here. I'm doing it. And that somebody's going to be me. No, I'm, I just said I was going to do it. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. Two people are going to get a birdie <laughs> here next year. <laughs> two bogeys, two pars. Let's check out hole 11. The shortest hole on the course, 192 feet, a par three. The common route is throwing straight at it, trying to crash it into the chains for an ace in everyone's face. There is a little fun hyzer route I've seen people take in the air and also just throwing it at the ground for a nice flare skip. Some players are happy to just crash right into this wood and take an uphill putt, but I'm greedy. I want to land on this turf. Yeah. And the thing is the turf can actually be quite uh, slippy. <laughs> and I've seen people 
look in what per- looked to be perfect, and they now have a 40-foot downhill putt. That was me today. It was you today. <laughs> Hokum has a standstill forehand off the tee. It moves a bit left, but she has a circle's edge putt that is even with the basket. Holland also going with another standstill off the tee and oh. joining Hokum on the hill. Yeah, one foot behind Hokum. Ooh, Hokum on the hill. <laughs> Sounds like a music festival. It probably is. And Own doing that popular play where you just crash into the wood and have a short uphill putt. Looks like we're not going to get any of those fun hyzer shots today. If you want to see no, that, but you can this check out is round cool. two Do it. from Macy. Ooh. Ooh. Walker almost throws it in. Oh, and left <laughs> own hanging. Oh. It's funny. Hanley from 35 for birdie. Yes, what a great Holland. Cut. Starting off her back nine strong. Hokum trying to match that. Oh, leaves it a little short. Ooh. Oh, we're getting a little roll Just, away for Hokum after hitting off the front <laughs> of the cage. And it took a little turn, and now it's rolling wow. more. Oh, wait. All right, it's settled down outside the Even circle. Even took a detour. She has a, another 38-footer for par. Hmm. Nice pot from Madison. I feel like Sarah didn't even do her normal finger guns when the disc was rolling. You're right. She usually is <laughs> she usually yelling shoots at, at it. Sit. <laughs> That's a birdie conversion for Own. And Sarah with the bogey. Colin Hanley now under par as well as own Scoggins. Madison and Sarah still over par for the round. Hole 12, par 4, 564 feet. Off the tee, you want something that's either going to turn late or if you want to throw a sidearm, get around this clump of trees and make sure you are right of the Mando. This is the most looking fairway part. <laughs> that's not great. Uh, so I didn't choose great words for that, but that's the widest part of the fairway and it's not very wide. So hopefully you're in good position to get a second shot down into the chips. Holland Hanley up first. Backhand off the tee, which is very surprising. And she has sent it on the left side and made it right there at the end of the opening oh. and missed the Mando. She sent it too long? Yeah, she went too long. I was surprised how straight that disc flew. I thought she was going to catch a tree. Hmm. I'm just surprised like she didn't throw a Owen. forehand off the tee. I'm also a little bit surprised. I, I feel like when I saw her practice, she went forehand, but maybe she just wasn't feeling it today. Owen's forehand gets caught up in that right corner. Madison taking the inside line. And being on the right side, not sure how far into that she skipped, but it could be a difficult second shot. Hokum pulls her shot over to the left, but she gets some love. It kicks her around the corner. She's hanging out with Madison over on the right side. You know, if you've got to opt for a forehand roller, you must be in a bad spot. Oh, a little leap up the tree, and from there, Hokum can play for par. It's not going to be an easy one, though. Hmm. 
scientific fact that grunting adds 5% strength. So if you're looking for a little extra tournament torque, you should throw a little grunt on the next shot. Look at the positioning Own has. Oh. Oh, man, that was a wasted fairway. With this hole, you can be lined up perfectly, but it is still a difficult shot to execute up into the green. Holland from the drop zone. Executing the shot. Oh, wow. That came in fast. Tree saved her, and she's right outside the bullseye, putting for par. This is going to be Hokum's second forehand roller. She's still not yet inside circle one. This is Owen's third shot. It's pretty open from her position. Good shot there from Owen. Still going to have about 25 feet. A nice approach there from Madison. Welcome with the jump putt approach. She is under the pin for bogey. And Scoggins is in for par here on hole 12. Holland saving the par. That was a nice scramble. I almost feel like missing the Mando is better than having a bad tee shot. Dude, I was just <laughs> thinking, look how great the drop zone shot is for Holland. Yeah. Oftentimes you don't even have that clean of a shot if you on a did, good drive that's what i'm saying yeah <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. that's a thinker so madison own and holland with the pars and sarah with the bogey after having to throw two forehand rollers in the same hole let's check out hole 13 the y hole does not play as a mando on the pro tour but it feels like you should have it as a double mando you have to hit that. I mean, if you're not getting between the Y, you're probably not gonna have a good drive. Good drives landing up on the hill, great drives landing here. Your second shot, pick a fairway. Oftentimes, it just depends on what positioning you have. And this is a fast screen. The water comes up quick behind it, and it is out of bounds. Par feels like a birdie on this hole, and I think a birdie feels like an eagle. Holland Hanley up first. Great shot from Holland. What's interesting about this hole is if you catch an early tree and you fall, you still might be in bounds, but just have a tricky, tricky par save. But it can be better to land short than to catch one of the later trees because those almost always kick OB. <laughs> Own makes it through the Y tree, but clips some foliage and drops short left out of bounds. I hate that. Nice shot from Madison. Way to give it some height. Wow. That's as great as you could ask for. Almost too good. Those spectators weren't very far in front of her. And Hokum has a backhand, but she's opted for a forehand shot, which has put her in a good position. So Own is utilizing the same rule we saw Sarah <laughs> use from the front half of the round. If you want to walk it back along the line of play, you can. Oh no, oh. Own took the risky route. Oh, phew. okay. Luckily, she's still safe. I have used that left side route before. Me too. Sometimes it's just your only option. It is. Sarah swinging a forehand around toward the OB, but even with the tree clipping at the end, falls in safe. And Holland had a premium drive. This is her second shot. She is lined up really nice to get to the green. That looks great. She sent it a bit long, but very much puttable for birdie. Ideal. I love that. Scoggins taking that right side route over that downed log. This hole proving to be a little bit of trouble for Scoggins. Madison with that beastly drive. 
That was beastly. And a super smooth approach. Stay in bounds. Excellent. We've got Madison and Holland up here putting for birdie. <laughs> Just waiting for the flag. <laughs> Own jump puts it to the chips. And Hokum's putt wasn't quite lined up. She looks at her hand. The humidity's really popping off today. But Holland Hanley popped off a birdie here on hole 13. That's rare. We're not seeing a lot of those this weekend. No. This hole played as the most difficult hole all three days. Walker for birdie. Two birdies on the same card. Who comes in for par? Scoggins will have to settle for a stinky double here on the 13th. And yeah. only four birdies on the day here on hole 13. And you just saw two of them right here. Yeah, par definitely gained strokes on the field today with this hole. Have you ever seen a hole like this? This is hole 14, par four, 556 feet. This uh, gap that the drone is flying through is the main option for getting down, but the gr it slopes down the whole way. So a backhand turnover will give you a lot of glide, maybe landing just over where we flew, but a sidearm can get a good distance too. A lot of players will then pitch up short of the bridge and then throw in to have that look, maybe a long birdie putt or tapping in the par. Holland hitting the gap, but catching a late tree, and she'll be off on the left side. It is safe over there, but tricky. Walker hits the main gap with a forehand, moving down that ditch area. And she has taken a bit of a roll, and it looks like she might. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. She's going to keep going. This is why we have spotters. Yes, and the <laughs> ditch is actually a great position. Three for three so far on hitting that main gap. Hokum taking a similar route to Madison, but not getting the roll. She'll still be in good position. Oh, Own oh, missing the main gap hitting a tree and kicking off to the right side. Own second shot, forehand towards the spectators. Spectators are safe, and <laughs> so is own shot. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good position to be. Holland just pitching up with her second shot, oh, but no. too far goes OB. She will now have to putt from across the creek to try and save her par. Hokum gets caught up on a tree on her way to the green. She'll have to play the hole for par. This is Owen's third shot. Looks like she's going across. She sent it long and it's landed in that, ha <laughs> ha, I love that little trench, ravine, dry <laughs> creek. We're convinced there's a magnetic pull. This is Walker's second shot. Look where her drive landed. That was incredible. Yeah, you just don't see a lot of drives get all the way down there. Sarah with a good approach. Holland now trying to save her par after going OB. Not like she was happy just to lay that up. Yeah. Owns in for par. That was a good putt.
Hoke him in for par. Walker from a knee for the birdie. Yes, Madison. Madison Walker. <laughs> Love to see a birdie here on hole 14. And Holland in for the bogey. <laughs> Even with that bogey, Holland stays under par with own, but Madison really getting those strokes back. Cleaning up that back nine. I'm asked all the time, why do you play disc golf so much? The best answer I can think about is, there's just something about disc golf. You might think it's just like any other sport, but I can promise you this is not the case. Disc golf is the walking nature, the closing of your computer, the discipline that it requires, that sound of those chains. I don't know what it is. The whole world should have the opportunity to try it. Let's grow the sport. So the slammer, it doesn't fly as far as the harp, but that's exactly what I designed it for. It was designed for me to be able to throw hard with the real severe angles, a lot of flex shots, and it's a unique spot in the bag. So that's why I think it's becoming so popular. Welcome back, hole 15, a par for 387 feet. Uphill, we play a shorter tee than in previous years. Your drive hopefully will land at this dead tree stump or past it, that would be ideal. Second shot of forehand or a bit of a turnover, probably about 200 feet into the birdie, into the green to get you a birdie look. Off the tee, if you land left or right, that could prove to be very difficult in scrambling for a par or getting yourself an eagle, I'm sorry, a birdie bid. Walker up first. Oh, that's a beautiful drive. It was low, but it was perfect. With this hole being so short as a par four, you really don't have to get that greedy off the tee to still have a pretty easy look for birdie. A good shot by Holcomb. Own following it up, joining everybody in the middle of that green patch there. Let's make it four for four. Oh, Holland. Wow, Holland, always just one step above the rest. Well, she really didn't look like she threw it much harder. No, she didn't. She has some very smooth distance. Scoggin's second shot, she sends it a bit long. That's gonna be a meaty birdie look. That's what Own does though, she makes I'm gonna say that's cuts. pretty much Own distance right there. <laughs> Hokum taking a similar line, but getting closer. Madison going inside a little bit more, just outside the bullseye for her birdie. And now the crew has to keep walking to get up to Holland's disc. Calvin showed up to support Madison and the ladies here on the chase card. Holland leaves her approach a little bit short, but that's well within putting distance. Come on, do own things. Yeah. It's in for the birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she got stuck there in the little grabby plants. And with that, Or own, maybe some thorns. <laughs> yeah. That puts own at three under par for the round. Holland in for birdie. Putting her at two under par for the round. Oh, come in for the birdie. Wow, well played. The ladies on this card are really battling for second place right now, and you can just see that fire. A, st a star frame. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah, what Owen said. Oh, that Four is a birdie birdies. for everybody. I'm not sure I've ever seen that on this hole. No, this would be the hole to do it. This or hole one, maybe. <laughs> Impressive. Hole 16, par five, 969 feet. A lot of players, because of the OB following the entire left and right sides, play something a little bit more safe 
on the first shot to get to the top of the hill. Your second shot, if you're just chipping up, will get to this area of the hill so that you can see the basket on your third. And then if you lay up short, you still have a putt for birdie. However, I know there are people on this hole, Holland is one of them, where she gets really aggressive on her second shot. Oh, look at this. We have Stepping in. <laughs> guest cameraman, Calvin Heimberg. That's the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> little selfie action. Yeah, it looks good. Hello, Yuli. I think Yuli had a good day today. He did. I saw yeah. that. I'm so happy for him. 13 under par. Yeah. All right, Madison Walker up first. Nice hyzer with good aggressive distance off the tee. Yeah, I like that a lot. If you can push that hyzer, it's just so nice not to have to deal with flexing something that might flirt with one of the OBs. Hokum's opting for a forehand off the tee. Safe. Own with a bit of a lower hyzer shot. She's safe in the middle. Ooh, Holland Hanley, big distance thrower. She actually got an eagle on this hole yesterday. She's safe. I bet she likes being on the left side of the fairway a little bit more anyway, because it gives her more width uh, staying away from that bush on her second shot if she wants to go aggressive. And that bush there on the right is a good visual, a good landing zone if you can land at it. You can attack for birdie, and if you land past it, birdie is very much in play. Hokum with a nice shot just to the top of the hill. It really is all you need if you're just trying to play for the birdie on this hole. Madison Walker has gotten three birdies in a row. In case you weren't watching, Madison Walker was actually leading the tournament after day one. That's got to sit. Should be fine. She'll be in nice position to attack the green. Let's see if Holland goes big. Holland's second shot. Yes, she does. Clears the tree. Whew. Holland's showing us what it's about. She's going to have a couple trees in her way for the eagle bid, but should be a very easy birdie for her. I think Holland's one of the fastest rising stars I've seen enter the disc golf scene since Katrina Allen. The own second forehand shot is safe on the flats, and she's looking at the basket. It's kind of crazy how wide of an area we have to land in at the bottom of this hill. I like it. Yeah, me too. Very generous. And I think it entices people to get aggressive and I like seeing everybody get a little aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Hokum's forehand shot is safe on the flats, <clears throat> barely. I like it when they show how close the discs are to the OB Me line. too. <laughs> this is Walker's third shot. Nice, low, and direct. It's hyzering a bit. Hopefully it'll stay safe. Or skip across. Oh, Ugh. man. She got an Did aggressive it? skip. It looks to be out of bounds. It looked like it went in the ditch. I thought it did too, but it I can't tell It also looked like now. it could have skipped over the green. I thought it was going to skip over the green, but then I didn't see it on the green. I think <laughs> it stayed in the ditch out of bounds. All right, Own pitched up. She's got an 18-foot putt. Holland for eagle. Can she do it twice? Oh. Leaves it low, but that'll be an easy birdie. That turf green is fast. It is. You land and you are just skidding across that thing. And actually, the way that uh, Sarah's facing, that back corner, there's this weird curved OB line. Yeah. And you don't notice it at first, but you could be on that turf and be out of bounds if you're in the back corner. Walker slips out left. I actually saw someone land in that little OB tip there on day one, and it was yeah. disappointing. Didn't you were in bounds on the green, but then you weren't. Yep, and we didn't even know about it until we got up there. Owns in for par, waving at the fans. I'm a fan, Own. I'm a fan. I'm sure she was waving at you, too. 
When two discs are land close to each other, both players mark them just to give them a little more foot room there. I like it when we double mark. Me too. I think we it's had fun. a double mark there today, didn't we? Yeah, uh, yeah. Was that whole, you and like, me? Thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. It's All fun. Right. It makes you kind of feel like you're a part of it. <laughs> Holland's in for birdie. That's two in a row for her. Madison, unfortunately, with the bogey, she has to hop off the birdie train, but she can get back on. Madison was sitting fairly close in overall score to Owen and Holland, and now um, they have pulled away by a couple. Owen and Holland really fighting for that second place spot. Keeping it interesting. Hole 17, what a fun one. A par three, we have a new tee this year. 287 feet. If you're feeling aggressive, you can throw directly at the basket. A mid or a putter is probably best. If you're feeling a little scared, you can hyzer out left into the woods or pin deep left, which is all safe. Pitch it over and play for par. Also, a common play is to just bail out over on the right side and give yourself a putt similar to the upshot on hole six. Hauling up first, going for that left side safe zone. She got <clears throat> caught up, but she is safe. Safe in the forest. I too feel safe in the forest. <laughs> Oh, doesn't like it out of the hand. She's oh. safe. This is an interesting fairway because the only thing OB is the creek, but it winds through like a snake. So there's a lot of places for you to land. Own in a common bell out zone. Over there is an easy putt at the basket. Madison also going for that right side landing zone. Prime position. Oh, with a little roll, too. I feel like she's had a few, wow, like beneficial rolls today. <laughs> I bet that confused her because everyone didn't clap for a little bit until the disc sat down. We had so many spectators out there this weekend. Appreciate you guys coming out and supporting the players, especially the female professional players. This is Sarah Hokum's second shot, and Ooh, she kicked a tree and again. again, lucky shot, landing in bounds. Wow. Where was that luck everywhere else today? All right, Hokum's probably going to just play for a bogey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. She's just really getting close to these OBs today, on this hole specifically. And Holland went for that. More safe bell out in the woods play. Now she's just pitched up and she'll have a simple par putt. Owens landed in a nice spot where if you're feeling it, you can give it a run for birdie. Owns always Beautiful. feeling it. Come on. I like that position better because you're not going to go OB if you miss long. Right. You're actually putting at the inbounds extension of the green. Yeah, and it's much nicer. Great putt from Own. I'm sure the crowd loved it. Come on, Madison. Madison needs this birdie. It's well, she gets in. it. Madison Walker playing very well this weekend here at Idlewild. Holland makes her par putt. Look at Madison's back nine. What an improvement from the front nine. Yeah, she just isn't getting pars today. Mm. She's doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> Owen and Holland are really battling it out for this podium finish. And, and Madison Madison's Walker also, is yeah. not far behind. Yeah! <laughs> 
into our final hole of the tournament, hole 18, par five, 650 feet. If you're playing a little bit more conservative, you're just trying to land in the middle on top of the hill so that your second shot can be more aggressive. That doesn't mean you can't go more aggressive on the first shot, but this hole, they've cleared out so much on the left that it really wants you to go for it. If you can get out here, a lot of people will have a look for birdie under the trees. So you've got a low ceiling and it's not an easy putt, but we know that it's possible. Owen Scoggins up first after a birdie on hole 17. Leopard three off the tee and she's safe in the fairway. Walker's oh. shot's a bit more left than you want and she's landed on that left side in the tree line, but since they've cleaned it up, it's actually not too bad over there. Holland also releasing early and low on that left side. She's hanging out with Madison. Hokum with a backhand off the tee, going over there to that magnetic zone. Her, Madison, and Holland all in the same area. And actually, look, it's not bad at all. Wow, that was a beautiful shot by Sarah. What a shot. I love watching certain forehand players where all of their body gets into it and you can just see it in the follow through. You see it with her a lot and with Jessica Weiss a lot. Madison with a good angle, just doesn't want that to cut. Looks like it sat down. Woo, Holland. What a shot from Holland Hanley, stand still. Beautiful. She is such a skilled player. Yeah. This is own second shot, forehand flex, moving a bit right. Hopefully she's not in that bush over there. All right, this is Walker's third shot. Forehand out of the gap, moving Beautiful. towards the basket. Looks like she'll have to play the hole for par. She landed a bit short. Probably 55 feet. These trees are some of the best guardians we have. They Never are. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah gets right through them. Holland's third shot. Typically, the trees are very grabby. That's a good example of what the trees do. That is more of what I was expecting. And that was a little too high, and oftentimes you do not bust through those limbs. You just get smacked down, and then you have a low putt from the knee or a crouching putt. I like this play. Uh, if you get yourself wide enough, you can take the hyzer around. it takes you too long. I, well, I would have gone higher. <laughs> more of a spike. More of a spike. In. Um, I but just I just, if when, you're out of position, that, yeah, that's the true. way the hill slopes in front of the tree can be really tricky. This is Holland for birdie. Oh. A little low, but a good bid. Incredible round from Holland. Hokum's gentle putt drops in the chains for a finishing birdie here on 18. Even though her tee shot looked a little out of position, left and short, it worked out great for her. It did, and I think that's what's kind of cool about this whole 18 with all the stuff that's been cleared out. You get to see people still fight for that birdie even if the tee shot isn't perfect. Oh, Walker <laughs> drops in for par. And own in for the birdie here on the 18th. Own had a phenomenal day. Own ending at five under par, shooting a thousand rated golf here on the final day of the Idlewild Open. Hot round of the day. She was making a push, trying to catch Valerie, but ends in that second place position. Holland Hanley grabbing that third place, and Madison tied for fourth, so this card really made a push. Shout out to Cadence Burge, her highest finish ever at a Disc Golf Pro Tour event, and Chantel Bedinsky made it in the top 10. Yeah, and congratulations to Valerie Manduhana. If you want to support us, I have discs for sale on dynamicdisc.com, another round, and Disc Golf Bra, and you can follow me on Instagram at rcline55. While you're shopping on Another Round's website, check out some Holly Finley discs. Also, Raven and I both have mini stamps you can add to any disc you order from that website. 
if you head on over to PharmaCBD.com, you can enter code HOLLY at checkout for 20% off. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us on this Idlewild coverage, and thanks Ace Run Pro for filming the FPO Chase card. We'll see you all next week.